we protect uh, parliamentarians' voices. We protect their right to speak freely, uh, to act freely, uh, to, do, to fight um, uh, for what they believe in and uh, their right to do so uh, free of any violation of their human rights, of their freedoms, and we, to the extent of our possibilities, make it possible for them. The committee examines all of the complaints that we have in front of us very seriously. It's not just enough to file a complaint and we autom automatically believe to the complainant. Uh, we uh, check all the facts, double check them, triple check them. We uh, work with the authorities as well. Uh, and we try to gather as many information as we can. Governments are not so willing to work with us all the time, so sometimes we had to, um, we had to, we have to resort to other resources, especially in the most difficult cases where we have uh, kidnapped MPs, uh, detained MPs. We have MPs who have been killed. Uh, we have MPs. Uh, who, uh, who, who are threatened or intimidated and who have been subject to all kinds of um, violation of human rights in their own countries and sometimes it can last for years. So it's very difficult for us to find different uh, avenues to explore in order to, to help our colleague MPs. The missions are actually, I think, the maybe the most powerful tool the committee has because uh, uh, that way we can uh, meet directly with uh, our complainants, especially if they're detained or uh, for whatever reason uh, incapable of uh, meeting us here or during the General Assemblies of the IPU. So it may be the only opportunity we have to talk to them. It's also opportunity for us to speak with other authorities uh, than parliamentarian authorities because it's usually speaker of the parliament who provides us with information but when we go somewhere uh, we also can gather uh, information from other institutions, uh, often it's judiciary or police depending on the nature of the case. For example now we are heading to uh, mission uh, to Uganda which is uh, one of the most serious cases that we, we have in front of committee right now uh, because we have five MPs uh, facing uh, charges for treason and uh, there is a pet, pet death penalty for treason in Uganda and the reason why they are facing these charges are uh, because they uh, organized demonstrations during which somebody uh, pelted the president's car with stones. So there's no proof that they're the ones that organized it. There's no proof that they're the ones that did it. They're just were the organizers of the demonstrations. So uh, this is the mission that we've been pushing very hard. Mm -hmm.